I'm Beth with the University of Florida Scamby County Extension and it is blackberry season here in North Florida. Now probably about six or seven years ago we planted some blackberry plants here in the kids garden and they have really done well. It's a full sun area, the soil is well drained and we can give these a little bit of water uh, from our sprinkler system here to keep them going well. But here in May we are now harvesting blackberries uh, to make some good treats or to eat fresh, however we like that. Now, if you're looking for a low maintenance fruit, you may want to think about this coming winter to buy some of our upright thornless blackberries to grow. There's many selections. This one is Arapaho uh, that's done well for us, and you'll really be surprised how easy this plant can be. They don't like a lot of fertilizer, so you can fertilize maybe once a year with about a fourth of a pound per plant once it's a little bit bigger. But the really the big maintenance is a little bit of pruning. It will send up some new canes and when they get a little bit of length on them, you're going to tip those back to form some lateral shoots that are going to be your fruiting canes. So that's really about the only big maintenance you have with these plants other than giving a little water if they're dry. So what we're doing here, as these turn from red to this nice deep black, we're picking these off. Uh, blackberries are very perishable, so we're gonna take these inside and Dorothy's gonna share with us some tips for safety and also how to save them uh, for later use. Welcome to the Extension Kitchen. I'm Dorothy Lee, Family and Consumer Science Agent at Scambia County Extension. And blackberries are very plentiful this time of year, but they are highly perishable. One of the things that must be done to keep them from uh, having a bit of mold is when they need to be refrigerated uh, very, very soon after picking. And also, they either need to be frozen or prepared in uh, some type of dish, at least at least no more than two days in the refrigerator. Well, let's take a look at some of the ways that we can help extend that period of time with uh, the fresh blackberries. Uh, I have a bowl of beautiful blackberries and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a colander and wash them a little bit um, under some very, very cold water. There's a couple of, of methods uh, of preserving them so that the mold doesn't grow. Uh, this one is just rinsing with cold water. Okay. Now I could have added a little bit of vinegar to uh, the, the um, wash water and uh, the little bit of vinegar and water and the vinegar also helps retard some of that mold that starts to grow very quickly on uh, certain types of berries and blackberries happen to be one of the berries that mold grows very quickly. Uh, what I'm going to do is refrigerate these berries and to do so, uh, I have paper, some paper toweling and a tray, and I'm just going to put the berries, kind of space them out on the tray, and uh, put another sheet of paper toweling on top of the berries, and kind of just press them just a teeny bit there to blot them. And so now I'm ready to put these in the refrigerator. Uh, and and so forth. Um, the next thing is with blackberries, they can be frozen. They can be frozen up to 10 months. The quick and easy method for freezing the blackberries is to place them on a baking sheet, kind of randomly, uh, just, a, just a small uh, space between them, and pop them into the, the freezer for what we call a flash freeze method. And once they're frozen, then we're going to take them out and put them into a plastic bag. And this method, when we're ready to um, prepare a dish with our blackberries, we have them all frozen. We can take out the number of berries that, that we need. Here, our blackberries have been flash frozen uh, in the freezer for about two to three hours probably is a good, good time for uh, limit for freezing them. Okay, and then be sure and label label your uh, your plastic container so that you have an idea of what and when you put them in the freezer. And then when you're ready to prepare maybe um, 
some type of uh, quick bread with blackberries. Uh, blackberries are very versatile. They, they can be cooked into uh, any type of salad. You could also prepare the, the old time favorite, which is blackberry cobbler. So blackberries are very versatile, but remember they're highly perishable. So they need to be refrigerated very soon after picking. So enjoy.